and welcome back to tech stack channel before moving to our topics if not subscribe the channel please subscribe share and like the video and if you have any doubts please mention a comment section <coughs> today we will try to export this rpa challenge aid so the challenge name is invoice extraction bot so what are the steps they given means develop an invoice extracted rock download all invoices from this particular portal pull specific data from the extract invoices extract the details into the excel file so we need to go to this particular folder i mean in this portal once we went to this portal so we have this some download invoices so we just we need to download and once you downloaded that file it's having some data in pdf files so we need to open this pdf files and we need to extract the data so what type of data we need to extract means invoice so date invoice number is there date okay date also is available and the file name so file name where can i put okay maybe file name means invoice one invoice two i think so so these are the file names so we need to extract these details into the one excel file so we'll try to explore that going back to the web part studio and as usual our step our step is we need to open the browser and here i will select select the browser type as pro and the next step is i will make it as private now i need to get the link copy the link this link i will paste here and next step is download these files so click i am taking this click actively and i am selecting the selector let me check whether the selector is perfect or not i mean uh, i will go on ui explorer and i will check that is there any alternate uh, options are there or not so i am taking the inner text and i don't want this parent id let me highlight validation is perfect and highlight yeah this is working fine and i save this now we extracted that files once we extracted that files we need to unzip so for that taking unzip files and we get the respective details later we need to put the for each activity because we don't know how many files are available in that particular uh, folder so taking for each activity so and here we need to update the path so once i extracted it will come like this i am taking this path so in this path only i have the all the pdf files and updating the same thing here so here a directory dot get files and after the my path so this is my path inside the test invoices having the files so this is done after the step is we need to open the each and every invoices so there are a different uh, multiple ways so as of now what i am doing is so i will just open this invoice and extract the data from here so here uh, i will go with the get put here also attached i will take this and indicating the screen so as of now i need only 400 now so i will take uh, as 400 or i will take the invoice and enter the data so and i will make it as invoice number control p invoice number and we need to take similar way for the another one is date so i'm taking this date as well now we got two things and finally we need update into the data table so this is date i will make this data date when i give directly date it won't take because we have some free free functions which we call the date is available so that's why i'm taking data date now these two things can now enter the thing updated into the now we'll build one data table but we're taking build the data table activity so on the top of the for loop i will build it and mm -hmm. here i need to so we have the three things so the first one is here we have the invoice date 
invoice i will make as invoice number and i will data type as i will keep as string only and the second column name i will keep it as paid and i will add one more column so which then i will make name as paid name so three columns are well done so i don't want to this text so just i'm going to go with so my column headers are available now we need to update this data in the for loop before updating the data, we need to go to that properties and uh, enter the data table stored into one data table. I mean, uh, one uh, variable. I will make it as data table. Okay, already data table is available. Just I will take that uh, data table. So next, so we need to update the data into the data table. For that, I'm taking add row data and add data row. Okay, in this here, uh, I need to pass the three parameters. I mean, uh, the variables. The first one is in invoice number. After that, second is date time. And finally, we need to submit the file name. So, current item dot to schedule. So, these three I will update it. And here my data table is a table only. Now this is done. Once updated, everything is done. So we need to close this uh, PDF file because we need to open the one more PDF file. So I'm taking build process. One going here, and I will update this file here. Here the process name is Acrobot. So I will just take the acrobat. Yeah. Go to desktop and I will uh, delete this uh, test invoices which I downloaded earlier. And uh, I will try to run this code. I forget one step. Once everything is done, we need to update this data into the one Excel file. So write range. Taking the right range for the book and uh, I will select with just I will select the location here and after that I will create the file. So creating the file invoices dot itself xx and making the sheet name as a sheet one and data use table is data table. This is a set I'm running this bot. So, as usually, it will launch that uh, Chrome application and it will download that files and extract it. So, it's downloaded that files and open the first preview and reading that invoices and date and it's closed. And okay, I put it up on here. Let me remove that. So it's close that first invoice uh, PDF file and moving to the second one and keep on going. I think this is the last one. So everything is done. And okay, bot runs completed. Now I will open this uh, invoice file. So I stored the enter the data in invoice Excel file. I'm opening that file. And we can see the four invoices data has been extracted. And here invoice 100 date is come now because I scraped the data enter. So that's why it came like that. So if you want, you can uh, take only 200 and this date. So as of now, I take an enter like this. So that's why we can see the date as well. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn off notifications. So you never miss an upload.